So today, I will be cooking sancocho. Sancocho is a Caribbean soup. They make it in Puerto Rico, in Dominican Republic, in Colombia, in Central America, and of course, in my home country of Venezuela. In a large pot, you will add all your vegetables, your green pepper, onion, cilantro, and celery. One great thing about this step is that you don't have to cut any of the vegetables. Just wash them and put them as a whole. Add salt and water up to the top. Put them high heat and boil for about 30 minutes. While your broth is boiling, you're gonna use this time to cut all your root vegetables, potatoes, yuca. As you can see, my yuca cutting here is very complicated, so I suggest to actually buy the frozen one. Sweet potatoes, plantains, when you cut the plantains, make a cut on the edges and then as you see it here, over the whole plantain and then peel with your hand. It may be a little tough, but if I can do it, you can do it. Try to cut all your vegetables bite size. As you can see, it's very easy, but it takes a little bit of time. You will do the plantains, as I mentioned before, you will do the corn, and of course, if you live in a Caribbean country, you can add any of your local root vegetables. You may also add yellow squash. Make sure you it's the last vegetable you add, otherwise it gets too mushy for my taste. Once you're done cutting everything, you're gonna go back to your broth. Take all the vegetables that were boiling, the celery, the tomatoes, the peppers, the cilantro, the green onion, the meat, take everything out, put the meat on the side, and you're gonna blend all those vegetables. Here's the trick, and you may add a little bit of sriracha. You're gonna blend all those vegetables until they're almost like a cream, and you're gonna put them back on the broth. Make sure you cut your meat in bite sizes. As you can see, I'm not very good at cutting, so I use scissors a lot when I cook. Bring all the root vegetables back into the broth and boil for about 25 minutes until the root vegetables are fully cooked and nice and soft. Remember, if you're adding yellow squash, make sure you do this towards the end of the boiling, otherwise it gets too mushy for my taste. When you're ready to serve, cut some more fresh cilantro, lime, and your favorite hot sauce. 
make sure you taste it, adjust the salt content, and of course, if you don't need any more, approve. I hope you enjoyed this recipe of my Venezuelan version of Sancocho. If you love this video and would like to learn more recipes, make sure you subscribe to my channel Cilantro Network. Buen provecho!